Hello ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here, and welcome back to my X3 Albion Prelude and Terran Conflict tutorial on how to install mods. Now this section is all about editing and balancing your ships. Alright, so if you watched the earlier episodes, the earlier bits of the tutorial, or you could click on the menu here at the beginning and go to those sections, uh, you know that I've installed the uh, software that you're going to need to install these packages, the custom ships, the scripts, and I had mentioned that there is a piece of software that installed with it called Package Creator. This is it right here. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Now, when you download, let me go break the, uh, the browser over here. When you download XSP ships for X3AP, you're going to find that they don't all work for all the X games. So Albion Prelude, some of these ships, uh, let's see here, I think a lot of the Star Wars, yeah, a lot of the Star Trek ones are, and I think some of the Star Wars ones are, they're meant for uh, Reunion, and they're not quite balanced for X Terran Conflict, and they're really off for Albion Prelude. Now, not all of them, but some of them are this way, or maybe you just don't like the stats they were given originally. I know a lot of the Star Trek ships look fantastic, but they weren't balanced the way that I wanted them. Uh, they had like the Federation Nova, which was, it's a fairly small ship compared to say the Sovereign class, and they had it set up as a battleship. And I really wanted it to be a heavy M6. So what you can do is, uh, go ahead and download one of these. I'll use the, let's use the Defiant as an example. Click it, download it. Of course, you can right click and save as if it doesn't work the first time. Download them. The file sizes are fairly small. And then what you want to do is you can drag and drop it right into the package creator and this will allow you to balance the ship. So these tabs here, you can actually open multiple of these. This is the tab section right here where you can open multiple tabs. So let's see, I'll also download the Federation Nova. All right, so we'll get that downloaded. Shouldn't take but a second, drag and drop it up here. So you can have a bunch of these open at once and you can go through and edit them. Now the way I recommend doing it is go to Google, look up X3 Albion Prelude or Terran Conflict, depending on what you're working with. Uh, look up X3 AP ships. And there's this uh, Rogi's X3AP site, and this will give you all the stats for the ships that are already in the game. And you can use these stats to balance the ships that you're downloading and make them uh, in line with what's already in the game so you're not too overpowered, you're not just blasting through everything. Now you can use the ship balancer to edit all kinds of stuff. So I'll go ahead and walk you through it here. If you go under ship settings, here's where you can add it to shipyards. So if we want the Defiant sold at the Boron shipyard, the Paranid and the Talati, we just check them and now we'll find this ship in all those shipyards. Now keep in mind if you're using a script that spawns ships, uh, some scripts will actually spawn the modded ones. I know one script I was using, the race relations one, it had entire Federation fleets flying around under the Argon command during the uh, the war. I actually saw an Excelsior fly in and start fighting. I think it was the split at one point. Yeah, it was pretty cool, actually. I, I, don't, I don't mind it myself, but some people may not like that. All right, so we're gonna keep this as Argon because that's where I'll be starting. That's where I wanna buy my ships from. Now, if you go under ship data and click customize ship, it will actually change this text for you so you don't have to do it manually. And it'll do it in a menu, much easier than trying to sort through all that text. Uh, primary game, this honestly doesn't matter. This doesn't actually change anything that I'm aware of. Owner race, I, I believe that's just changing what we changed earlier. Now, you can change the ship classes. I'm going to warn you right now, ship classes, if you take an M2 and change it into, say, an M6, an M2 is a giant capital ship class, whereas an M6 is more like a frigate or a cruiser. Uh, frigates and cruisers can dock with normal stations. M2s cannot. So if you take something the size of an M2, make it an M6, it will attempt to dock, kill itself, and the station. So be careful with that. Uh, all right, so going through here, how many docking slots does it have? How many ships can it actually hold? It's all that actually changes. Going down, you've got minimum and maximum cargo space and the class of cargo space. If you're not familiar with X3, uh, you've got different sizes of cargo. Some 
items in the game can only be carried around by certain cargo ships. So ST is an entire station, so that should be reserved for the biggest of ships. XL is more the, um, I believe the destroyers can carry XL and some of the actual freighter ships can carry XL. Uh, here's the pricing. Now pricing is a little weird. There is the uh, the number you put in and then there's the rough price that comes out. So if you just change this number, mess with it a bit and it will actually change the total price you'll be buying for. This is how much the player buys for, this is how much the NPC buys for. I don't know exactly how that affects how the NPCs use the ships. So all right, moving on. Notoriety is when will it unlock? Uh, at like how much notoriety do you have to have with the Argon to unlock the Defiant is what this means or whatever ship you're using. So this may be a little high. Um, I would have to compare this to other ships in the game. So this one's kind of tough. I might bring this down a little bit. A uh, hundred thousand. I don't remember how hard that is to get in the game and how long that would take. All right, moving on. We got performance. Of course, your speed. Everything's pretty self-explanatory. Ship handling. How fast she's going to turn, pitch, yaw, roll. Rudder extensions. How many times you can upgrade the damn thing. Uh, you know, speed. Now, speed. Keep in mind, you can upgrade your ships in-game with speed extensions. So you can change how many extensions you get. And, of course, that will change your maximum speed. So if I put this to 20, you'll see the maximum speed jumps up to 210. I'm going to put it back down to 15. Fair warning, if you try to raise the speed on ships you have plan to command, have under your command, if you change them too high, the AI in X3 can't keep up with fast ships, and you'll your ships will eventually just ram into other ships, asteroids, stations, you're going to have a lot of pathfinding problems, and it'll make you really, really frustrated. So keep the speed fairly low on large ships. Small ships, it's not as bad. There's a couple scripts too in the mod section that I will show you guys. One called Bounce that'll make it a little easier on smaller ships. But in general, keep speeds within the tolerances of the ships that are already in the game. All right, weapons, shield type. So the shields are broken down from zero to five. So of course this goes from, I think it's like two uh, kilojoules. I forgot what the top shields are. It's actually been a while since I've sat down and really played this, but uh, and then down to, I think it's like five megajoules, and then they just go up from there. So you can find a list on the wiki page, and they correspond to the different strengths of what kind of shields there are. So that's pretty easy. How many shields you actually get? Uh, hull strength. Now this is a big one if you're coming from Terran Conflict. If the ship you're modding was originally made for Terran Conflict, you're going to find the hull strength to be really, really low. Uh, the average, I think it was the big, big battleship for the Argon had like 500,000 hull for Terran Conflict. Well, in Albion Prelude, they boosted all that, and it has, uh, no, it was like 50,000 in Terran Conflict, In Albion Prelude, it now has like 500,000, or 5 million, something ridiculous. So, actually, we'll look right now. Let's see, the M2 Destroyer, let's do the Argon Titan has hull strength, 5 million. Yeah, so it was 500,000 in uh, Terran Conflict. So you're gonna have to go in and change these values. So I would definitely change that up to, you know, 5 million or so, whatever you plan on making it. Of course, it's all about balancing your own game. Uh, model, I don't mess with this too much, so I can't give you any type of uh, suggestions on how to use it. It looks like you can change the effects that are used. Lasers and missiles, these, sadly don't actually tell you exactly like what these groups are uh, which really is too bad these are the lasers and the missiles that you can use uh, on that ship what can you can actually mount now I don't know which ones these are uh, I've actually just decided to use for the Star Trek ships I'm using that are done by Meg was it Marathon Monkey the author uh, they're actually in this list there he is Megatherian Monkey. Now he's done a bunch of uh, Star Trek ships and the weapon balance I think are pretty good and it's something that I really wanted to mess with because I don't want to have to figure out what each one of these laser groups actually are and I couldn't find a list for it so I'm not really messing with that but I'm sure there is a list somewhere on the forums. I will try to find one if I can and I'll put a link down below. Turrets. How many turrets does the ship have? turret points. These are normally set up when they make the ship in the model, I believe, so I haven't messed with this too much. Guns. Now this one's kind of important. This is how many guns the ship has and in what direction. Now I've noticed the Federation ships have a severe lacking of weapons, so I actually clicked, like let's see here, 
Um, top guns. We'll do... All right, top guns. It's got four guns there. You can click add gun. You just added another gun slot to it. And we can add a turret dummy on there, which is where it fires from, I believe. And that's how you add guns. So there you go. That's how you balance your ships. Majority of the time, the only thing you're going to need to change is the hull and probably the price and maybe the speed if you're finding that the AI is ramming into things. Now, once you've edited all this, I recommend you save it. Just click save and then actually go to wherever you download, you know, you have it saved to, run it, install it like I showed in the, with the plugin manager, and you should be good to go. All right, and that is just how, that's how you balance ships. It's pretty easy, not too bad. Uh, it's a little daunting going through and making sure everything is right, but if you want a balanced game and you want to use modded stuff, like I said at the beginning of this video, X3 is a pain to mod properly.